G'day Space Engineers and welcome back to episode 5 here in Dronely. I hope you caught up in that extra bonus 4.5 episode like a couple days ago, whatever it may have been, where we finally set this up, but there might have been a little bit too much background noise that you may not have been able to watch it, as I literally just finished editing it and I couldn't remove any of the background noise out of it. So I wanted to reiterate how I get this to actually connect all up. First of all, I want to make sure that this is on because we need all six directions to then make sure this drone and the remote block has the ability to fly down, up, left, right, forwards, backwards, all that good stuff as the remote block in its autopilot really doesn't like having to use gravity or anything like that to actually fall downwards or towards the surface what it would need to to actually get down to the, do the docking connector right there. So I've still got that home base dock approach high, just out forward a little bit further away from my wind turbines, just so the collision avoidance can just get better accuracy on that one without having any chance to run into those wind turbines. Uh, the same one right here, and as well as the reason why I want this GPS to be right where the remote block is. The way I did that is that I had to control this grid through its remote block. So I'll go into the pods terminal, and then I'll go to the remote block. And then that's where you get in control of it. And then now, since I'm in control of the survival pod now, I could then place a GPS exactly where it is now where if i was in this cockpit right here i'll just go straight into here gps new from current position and then i'll jump out without falling out of the sky you notice it placed where my player was that is very differently placed to where this remote block is and it's much more stable when the remote block is directly above where your docking connector is or at least somewhat in the middle of where your connector is like I have at the moment and this is the way it kind of works so I'll just go ahead and get rid of that one there so there's no confusion so let's get this actual operational and show you how it all really works so I'm going to jump into the, the pit right now and I'll go to the remote control what we want it to do is we just want it to go to the high approach GPS that's right above us right now and just turn its collision avoidance off so the collision avoidance starts being on when we start triggering it all up. Once that gets to the GPS, it'll start flying down to the one in front of us where we are now, turn the remote controls precision mode on, and tell it to go in the backwards orientation to go towards the next GPS, this one right here. And when it gets where we are right now on the connector of the base docking like port or whatever you want to call it, it'll turn its autopilot off and lock itself to that connector nice and easy. So I just wanna make sure that all of my thrusters actually are on, or at least they will be. That one there is the down, that's all right. We'll leave that there for now. The rest of them should be fine as they are. So we'll highlight that and save. Turn them all on, make sure they're all on. Excellent, so that's nice right there. We should be able to make sure our battery isn't in recharge. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been real bad. So now we should be able to undock. Excellent. Let's see if we can just lower all of those signals. And what I'm going to do is pretend we're like mining up resources and we can't really be bothered to go and get all that done. Let's get our remote block and make sure it's all set up correctly. So it's going in the circle orientation for the fact that otherwise it may delete all of these if you set it in a one way. So that's why when it gets to the base dock, I've got it to turn the autopilot off. So the next command it wants to go to is this high dock approach right here. So it kind of resets everything nice and easy. And then I can set up one timer block for a trigger and then another timer block to like reset it to undock ourselves nice and easy, which we can just set on the G menu. So right now, I just want it to dock home by pressing four right there to turn its autopilot on. And then we've got the control Z locked onto the grid. So we're following it. It's in the forward orientation. We'll have to reset that as well. It'll fly down. It may go a little bit further when it's a bit more full. 
and then it's going to fly on back to the dock in the backwards orientation with that precision mode on. And it should, in theory, dock right up nicely. Oh, that is lovely. Absolutely lovely. So that's how that all works in case you missed it in that last episode. So this has actually come in handy and I've already destroyed these landing gears just a couple times in like mining resources or whatever it may be. But let's get on over here and have a look at what we have to do. Finish auto dock of pod. Yeah, I'm, it's not quite ready yet. It's not quite done. We've got the drill out larger base. Yes, I can do that off camera so I can just use the, um, the pod and just kind of drill out a massive kind of hangar door off camera. So that's what it will be look like, or that's what it will look like in the next episode, hopefully. That shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, we want to get some more iron and we want to get that robot to help. So what we want to do overall is go into the production and get one repair bot material. And I'll just clear everything so that's up the front because I have the auto production on if i go to the assembler i've got all of this set up so it will actually like auto create stuff and keep up with things nice and easy so we can actually go down here because it's really expensive i don't want to add one re repair bot material to be on hand at all times i just want one of them is they're like 400 iron or something like that which is a lot so what we want to do is i want to get Build planner empty, one and two. Let's see if we can actually start welding this up. Or at least one of them. Not quite all of them. And that one, we'll have to get some more iron in just a second. Don't know if we have enough of the steel plates and stuff, but that's one drill and then there's another one so we can get our refinery up and running. So there we go, that's nice. Get these filled up. Kind of cleared a path for them. That's all right. That should be good. Let's clear that. Let's get 0.05. That's good. Let's turn it on and get it in the reverse motion. But let's go to the drills. Uh, the drill base. The brilliant rename controls or easy renaming. One of my mods in my top 20, 2024 mod list you need to have. It's an absolute must have. So I can do reset it and do space b a s e and do suffix so now they're all the same i can highlight them all base drills and save it right there so when i want to i can go into here it'll be at the top and i can just turn them on and then i can turn this to reverse so now that should start slowly pushing out and gathering more resources <laughs> yes what sort of inventory have we got? Lots of stuff. Way lots of stuff. Not too sure why that filled everything up so much, but let's see if we can clear that off. So we can fill out. Yep, so we can drill that one out. That's pretty much finished on the drills for now, apart from what I'll do off camera. So I'll just finish that off for now. Finish drills 02 gen. That's the one I wanted, not that one, Sharpie. What are you doing? We can do a little X. Little X because it's half done. I want to get that generator up and running too. Let's get this. Anything on our G menu? Just that one. Excellent. So let's get all of this and see if we can get... Oh, we need a lot more steel plate. Lots more steel plates. Lots, lots, lots more steel plates. So what I might do is I might go and get some iron very, very quickly off camera and I'll go and get that done. We can do another, probably a quick test to see how it goes when it's rather full. So I'll go and do that quick. Uh, we want it to disconnect only for now because we can set up that timer block for the next episode and I'll explain that much easier instead of having to think about it so much. Get rid of all of those and let's just get some. I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so we are a little full at the moment. It's a little bit sluggish. I don't really want to do too much more than that, but let's get leveled out. Might need to get another gyro on this, but let's see how this one goes. So let's do another quick save. Go control two. make sure our remote block is all set up like it should be. Precision mode off, collision avoidance on, which we can all set up that timer block to get done. And we'll get that set into the forward orientation, even though it doesn't really matter if we fly towards the first GPS backwards or not. So we'll get that going. And then we should 
be able to exit out. I'll uh, unlock from it, and that should automatically do it all. Hopefully, the battery should be lasting long enough to get that done. So I'll even get like a nice little view just here, where it should come down. Here we go. Incoming. Yeah, see how it dropped down much further? That's why I wanted to lower this pad by at least one block. How are we going to go on this? It's going to make it. It's getting there rather slowly because it is very sluggish. Oh, yes, that's perfect. I love it. Now, since this one is on. No, that's not on yet. Let's get the in sorter on because this one's off and it's can disconnected so it can't loop around. And then that should be pulling all of the iron that we need. So we should be able to turn this one off for now. Let those drills kind of go a little bit to clear it out. Scroll to the top and then we'll turn them off. So we're not gathering any more of that stuff. And let's get the iron. Iron ore, basic refinery, it's already in there. So let's just get all this out, get that scrap and then start refining down some absolute iron, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. That's the good stuff right there. Excellent. I have to paint a few things. We need to get that robot worker up and running as well, which is going to be really good. I might really quickly go through the assembler and just kind of lower some of these numbers just very quickly so we can get some stuff done faster. Three. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of limited it a little bit more. So we're not making any more than like 300 of something. That should be much better, I think. Yeah, that should be much, much better. Really good that we haven't really been attacked just yet. I better not be jinxing myself in saying that. But um, that should be carrying on rather soon. 462 we need. That's a lot of stuff. So let's just clear all of this. So it's just clearing a few things and let's go to the assembler as it seems to be making a lot of large steel tubes that we don't want. And a lot of motors. Small steel, interior, metal grid, girders, construction components. Yeah, that should be much better. Yeah, that should be much lower. Production. Let's clear all this up. Good. So now we're starting to catch up and then that has a better chance to get done much easier. So we got... Uh, FE for iron, basic refinery, cool. That's absolutely everything we have and it's all been sucked into the uh, basic refinery. So I might as well go ahead and get one more trip done out of this. Uh, just unlock and I can just continue on. Just get this done very quick. Just get a bit more iron so I have enough to place everything. Alrighty then, cool. Another quick load picked up just go and level out a little bit more set the remote up very quickly that one that one and forward which we can all set into the timer block we might as well even possibly do now timer go in here we'll remove all of this and that should be everything yep good we want it to switch the lock on that one uh, we won't turn the autopilot on on that. We can just leave that as is. But we want it to turn the collision avoidance on, the precision mode off, as well as put it into the forward op operation. Good. That should be good. That should be good. So now we should be able to just press 4 and then jump on out of that, and that'll go as it does as we've seen before. So I can just actually go ahead and just continue on with all this stuff much faster. So what have we got on our GMO hub? Yep, good. Let's get that. Excellent. Doesn't use too much and we can just get this off the survival pod. So it's not using so much weight. We can reserve more of that weight for actually resources and things. How are you going? You're still flying towards it slowly? Slowly. How much charge do you have? Let's just double check the uh, battery. 14 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. That's more than enough time. It has to dock up in its uh, slower little bit. That's okay. I am rather happy with that one. Good. So now we can actually get some of... Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, why did you do that? Off. Okay. Okay. 
Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Uh, three. Do we have any control of this whatsoever? Control two, four. No, because it's still going in the autopilot. It might have not been able to get up high enough on that test. So that's rather interesting that that happened. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Let's see if we can dock this up without crashing into anything more. As we've already seen it dock up twice already. And that is rather damaged. See if we have enough to fix it. Nope. Oh, what did it need? Quickly, what did it need? More steel tubes. Quick, 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 quick. Grab some of them. Fix it up. Get in the pod. See if we can lock it up after the connection. Excellent. All right, good. That was really dangerous. That was really, 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 really dangerous. So we need to fix this up as well. Let's get that onto the G menu. Uh, that one. Get that fixed up as well, so we don't lose anything bad, and I can fix anything else up off camera, so that should get pulled out. Of there. Get that out of my hand. Refinery. Let's get that over there. Uh, cargo. Small cargo. Medium cargo. That's the one we want. Excellent. Okay, so it looks like we're almost running out of space in the small cargo container. Yeah, we are. So we're going to need some more storage. Wowzers. Yeah, all right. Uh, five. Let's just see if we can get another small one. Even just plonked here nice and easy. And then that will drain out. Everything nicer. There we go. So this one should still be on. That should all be pulling out. That's good. So that'll fill up with the iron and all that. Yep, good. Let's go to the base. And let's just name that base two. Smoking cargo containers one. And then there we go. I have two there. So that should be much nicer. Um, all right, good. Drill out larger base. Finish auto dock of pod. Yes, sir. Uh, collect some iron for robot. Yes, we have. We need to build that. We've got power at the moment. Drone printer will definitely be in the next episode when we can get a drone printer up and like a cargo. We get some like drilling platform definitely for ice to fill everything up because I'll connect this up and over uh, and through here. So it'll just go straight over here and maybe even just do it here and over because I wanted to put a cargo container there instead. Oh, well, it is what it is. I might be able to change that later, but we should be fine for now. How are we going on iron? 105 plus that. Yes, we should have our basic robot. Yes. All right. So what I want to do, I want to place him over here. Let's go control eight. Robot factory. That's the one. And then let's get him connected up here so he's got really nice access to everything possible he needs. Let's get that and that off because they're both done. Let's go ahead and just... I uh, can dump all that stuff in there. Or maybe not. I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory. I can just pick that up and get this done. Good, good, good. Excellent. So now that's all finished. It has access to any money we have in there. So let's have a look what we've got. Robot factory. Does this not have access to everything? Ah, oh, yes, of course. Let's lock that so it does now have access. So now we should be able to do it since I had that done. Um, I should be able to turn off that was the, um, the sorter as well before I do anything else. Now this should have the ability to do it. Helper management. Select helper, yeah, repair bot in the robo dog. Alan, or is it Steve? I think might be a good name for it. Purple, yeah, sure, why not? And hopefully we can build it. Let's go. Okay, we didn't get a robo dog, but that's all right. At least we've got a robot helper building up as we speak. That is really nice. And I'm going to almost give him a really good test and see if I can place another cargo container down like right here because we really need some extra storage 
Anything on my G-Hub? Yep, a little bit. There we go. Let's see if he'll finish that off. What's he welding over here? What is that, damaged or something? No? No? Oh, that's a little bit damaged. That's alright. Let's get that welded up a little bit. Interact. Uh, inventory. Yeah, resume, I guess. Not too sure what he's doing. I'll have to do a little fiddling around with him afterwards and hopefully he'll be um, able to finish this all up. But he seems to be stuck over there at the moment. Let's have a look what he can do. Um, respawn. Yeah. Uh, store. Storing helper. Let's see if we can just reset him so it's storing it. It's stored, and then we can just respawn him. See if he'll get a reset on that, or if he's just going to go over there. There we go. That's much better. Houston, we have a helper. Dronely is up and running with our first friend, I guess. He should, yep, weld that up nicely as well. Oh, this is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. So we can just hopefully dump all that in there nicely and clear up our inventory. Yes! Robot worker is going. That is awesome. That's really cool. I'll do that off camera. Let's get some more power, possibly. Cargo drone for ice. We we'll definitely want to get a drone printer, which actually might be a really good thing to finish off with while he's actually doing all that. And I was going to possibly do it in my base but i want to try and get it done as soon as possible as i really want to get a lot more drones out especially some cargo drones so i'll um turn that off so it doesn't have any access that's good oh did you not like that you should have no problems with that because you can come and get it out from over here yeah um what was i going to do the printer. Yeah, let's just... Oh, there's steel plates. That's right. That's what I needed to do. I was about to place it and I couldn't do any of it. Uh, let's just grab as much as we can. No, in our inventory. It'll be good. Thank you very much. He'll plog along with that one. See if we can get like a really simple printer. So we'll go one, two, three. Actually, I'll go that. Because I need to connect these up. I will definitely need to connect them up, and I can probably drill out a little bit through there. Or maybe just bring it over from here, I think. Might be a better idea. So I'll do like a connector off from here, over here when I grind down the light. And I'll like kind of connect it through this bit here. So I might, I'll get rid of this. Because he kind of did that without me wanting him to. And then I should be able to get... Actually, that should be good. And I'll do that one. Conveyor junction corner. Conveyor sorter. I'll do this, but I only want a corner. I just want it to go through this one into a piston, which is going to be needing to be a bit higher than that. So that needs to be at least two blocks high. Yeah, okay. So... Just get this laid out, and then I can figure it out after. Because either way, I need a platform to stand on. There, and I can just get one simple piston. So I'll get... Yay! Conveyor sorter. Whoa! Thank you for hitting me, robot. That was interesting. Uh, conveyor uh, interior plates. Grab a couple of them. Now I can place some of these junctions down. So I want to get this up and running. Uh, conveyor. Conveyor. Control 3. 2. 5. Yeah, there it is. There's the piston I was looking for. I'll get one of those pistons. He should start welding things up. What you doing, buddy? Resume. I don't know. He's kind of figuring himself out. Figuring out his life choices. Exception warning, set target task. Okay, so instead of that keeping up coming all the time, let's give him a reset. 
uh, that one, store. Storing helper, get that out of the way, respawn. There we go. Oh, that should be there, and then I should be able to get this one and just get. Oh, I might even continue on with this. Uh, that one. Oh, that's right. I need to get rid of the light, which I'll have to move later. Uh, flanged. I don't want flanged. I just want normal. Conveyor pipe. Yep. That can go into that. And then we have the piston right there, which I can set its thing to eventually. Get that finished off with my helper bot. Thanks, buddy. Get rid of some of my inventory a little bit. Makes it a little bit lighter. That's good. Cool, cool, cool. So that should be good. And then what I'll do is I'll extend that when it's finished. Just needs large steel tubes and all that. Let's get rid of that one. Right click. And let's get that built. No, nope, he's not doing that just yet. Uh, control middle. Oh, I need one motor. One motor. Motor. Oh, it's in the cockpit. Okay. So let's get this to drain components as well. And we'll turn that on so it's all sorted out. Motor. There we go, we got a couple motors. Let's just go and finish this off. Just like that. Easy. Cool. So now I'm going to get this to reverse all the way out and we can get an actual distance on it. Because I'll only have one pistons to start off with. And I'll do like a landing leg type thing right bang here in the middle to try and see if I can get it done. And then line up the projector on that ready and waiting for the next episode. So that should be rather nice. Just getting there a little bit faster. That's good. And I'll have to set this to my magical number that I'll actually have to go and check out. Uh, two, three. We've got the landing leg. We only want the small one. So I'll go like this. Okay, so it won't actually let me do it where I'd like it to go. Hang on. I'll go like that, so it chooses the big one and lines it up. And then I'll probably go like that. And then this. And then I'll have to put a battery and stuff on it, but that should be okay. Excellent. Oh, I forgot. I need to put a um, welder on the end of it. Silly me. Silly, silly, silly me. Hang on. Let's do that quickly. Uh, G welder. Yes, well, duh. And we want it to go, not that way, that way. Excellent, excellent. So, that was actually just about good placement on that. Uh, three, two, two again, hang on. Get that on there, and then click two. Okay, so that's the bottom of it right there. So let's go ahead, get it up a little bit, and plonk it there. Good. So I now should be able to weld that up nice. Excellent. And then I can like bring it up. Bing. Oh, my God. So it then can be having a projector on it and all that stuff. So we'll go projector. Caps lock is on. Battery. Uh, that one there. Uh, control panel I've already got. So we'll just do a small one because we only need power to actually do power this actual projector itself where is it so really remember was the four up the top yeah four up the top with the uh straight line at the front so that one there thank you welderbot you are awesome you really are awesome helping everything so well brilliant absolutely brilliant we might need to maybe even lower this down by one and let's see if i can get this oh nine Button panel there. Just need that. Yep, good. I can still at least get 
projector. Uh, smart AI. So I've only got those two there. So let's just do the AI basic one. Let's see how that's orientated. So that's sideways. We'll have to do that. And that's what makes this so much easier. Pitch 90. Let's do that. Hopefully, let's go ahead and just get Robot to go away so he doesn't help us with this. Uh, select help with that one store. And I'm pretty sure I just ran out of what's the names. Yes, I do. And unfortunately, my thing is up the top there. Okay, so this is the dilemma. Let's see if I can solve it. Let's just get a platform going down so I can get to it. There we go. Cool. Let's see if I can reach it. I can't do that through there. I'm going to have to raise it up again. Just so I can get access to it and get it. Oh, I actually have a bit of ice in the cargo container here, it looks like. Good. Oh, hang on. Let's see if I can grab that. There we go. There we go, we got some O2 done, yes, excellent. So now I didn't have to jump all the way up here and get that done. I can probably grind down this O2 H2 generator now, as it's not really needed. We've got our drone almost ready and waiting for what we want to do. So let's just get this out of the way before we end it. Let's get that there, and then let's get the forward offset to go forward obviously uh vertical we want it to go up there's one of the panels so i don't want it to go there i'd rather it connect onto that so what i might do is i might flick it around and then i'll go not that way that way Yeah, that might work. That might not. I might be able to get on that side of the thruster there. And then let's move it backwards there. There we go. Excellent. That should finish everything off. So I'm going to see if I can get some resources. Enough to get this all done. So the next episode we can get like a drilling platform. With some ice collection. With water and all that sorts of stuff. And actually get this really smart AI drone which I do have a tutorial available online already to learn even the world itself so you can actually copy all of my settings and learn in the process. So make sure you go and check that out in the top right hand side of your screen right meow. But unfortunately that is the end of the episode and I will see you again till next time. So till then obviously, stay sharp as always. See ya!